Hey guys, fall is here, and for me that means more topwater fishing. And in light of that, for today, we're going to paint a wake bait. Now, I always feel lures are painted for two reasons. First, to catch the fishermen, so they'll buy it, and of course then, to catch the fish. If you're not catching fish, you won't have any confidence, you won't use the lure. Whenever I'm talking about topwater, if I'm doing a frog, or I'm doing a whopper plopper, my preference in color is black. I love that dark silhouette whenever those fish are looking up at that lure. So, we're going to paint the wake bait for the fish. We're going to paint it black. But we'll add a little something extra in there for the fishermen too. Stick with me. Now while we're going to paint this lure black, I said we're going to jazz it up a little for the fishermen, and I'm going to do that by use of my wraps. So that means we need a base coat before our black, and I thought for the base coat I'm going to go back to a paint I just used on my last lure, and that's a Createx Pearlized Lime. So we're going to cover this first with Pearlized Lime. Alright, Pearlized Lime. I'm going to want a good coating. I'm going to put two coats on this, but I'm going to take the heat gun, dry the first coat, and then we'll come back and do another. There we go. We've got our pearlized lime on, a good two coats dried real good. You need to dry that good because if we're coming up with a wrap next, we don't want to be taking any of our paint off. So now, we'll take and pull our wrap up. Oops, let me get it. Hook on the tail end, thought I had it hooked there and I missed it. Kind of hook it over your eye hook there at the back. Pull her up good and tight. And as I've said in the past, I like to use the hair brettes instead of the alligator clips. I seem to get the job done with them. And I don't need nearly as many of them. So we'll pull this all down good and tight. There we go. Got it tight. So the next thing, of course, is we're going to make it look black. We'll paint it black. All right, and for our top coat, we're just going to stick with the Createx. And here I'm using the opaque black. And that's just a flat black. We'll put it right over the top. Now, many times when I'm putting a wrap on, you've seen me paint a lure white first and then I put my colors and that's because if you have a black base and then you try to paint your colors over it they'll never show up properly you need to have that lure white but because I'm painting the end result is black we don't need to put that coating of white on there first there we go that should have us covered on everything Let's put a heat set on that and see where we stand. As I've always said, when you're getting ready to pull the wrap on, make sure you have it good and dry so you don't mess anything up pulling the wrap off. And there we go. Got a black. We've got that pearlized lime. Kind of gives it a little bit of flash there, doesn't it? But still, we're staying with the basic purple. But you know what? I think I got one more step I want to try. All right, we have it set up here for our last step. We're going to use some Createx opaque yellow and a toothbrush. So basically, we're going to test it here first. I got a little bit of the opaque yellow on a piece of plastic. I'm just going to dab my toothbrush in it, get some on the end, test it out a little bit. You can always put more on. You can't take it off. There's a little on that side. A few dots there. How about on the top? 
and a few dots there. And there we have it. Get a clamp here to hang on to it. Just a few dots in there to do something different to it again. We'll put a dry on that and uh, needs a set of eyes and a top coat. Now since I haven't done this from the last few videos, let's go over quick my eye placement or how I'm doing that. The eyes usually come, they're sticky on the back, but I like to add a little, so I use a little clear tacky glue. And basically all I'm using is a toothpick. I'll take a little of that tacky glue, place it a little bit, into each eye socket and then I'm coming back with another toothpick no fancy tools for here get a hold of that eye just set it right down in place grab the other one set that in and there we go now I got it with eyes in place and it's ready for a top coat. We'll let those eyes kind of dry up for, I like to let them sit for 20 or 30 minutes, make sure they're set good, and then I'll put a top coat on. Well there we are guys, our black wake bait with pearlized lime and yellow. The hooks are installed. The only thing that's left to do is take it out to the lake, catch a fish. Oh, there we go. Get one, huh? Yeah, what's the lake bait? He hit it. Well, huh? It hadn't gone very far and he hit it. <laughs> there we go. Little one. Here we go, guys, with the lake the bait. Ones, A handful of hooks. There we go. There we go. Small one. And took him on a black. Yellow wake bait. 